Welcome back friends to another weekly video on how to master your money and today we're going to be talking about the difference between LIPO and FIPO. In last week's video, I mentioned LIFO very briefly, and so I wanted to make another video this week discussing LIFO in more detail, uh, because there's some really important accounting ideas that you need to understand. Let's start with the definition. So what is LIFO and FIFO? LIFO stands for last in, first out, and FIFO stands for first in, first out. These are the most common methods of inventory valuation. There's actually many more methods, but these are the most common. LIFO is only allowed in the United States because GAAP accounting standards allow LIFO, whereas international accounting standards do not. LIFO and FIFO really deal with time. You create a set of financial statements at a moment in time, but you purchase inventory many different times. And so your goal is to figure out your cost of goods sold. LIFO means the most recent purchases are sold first. FIFO is the opposite, where you sell the oldest items first. Inflation is the reason that LIFO and FIFO are so important. Now we all know that prices tend to go up over time. Now they don't always go up, but that's the general trend you normally see. So let's look at an example of this. Imagine you purchased inventory a year ago at $1 per item for 50 items, and then you purchase again at the end of the year at $2 per item for 50 items. At year end, you create your financial statements and you find you sold 50 items at $4 per item. Now you have a choice. You had 100 items in inventory and you sold 50, but which 50? Did you sell the 50 at $1 per item or $2 per item? LIFO says you sold them for $2 for a profit of $2, and FIFO says you sold them for $1 for a profit of $3. Now, if there was no inflation, there would be no change in price, and so there would be no difference between LIFO and FIFO. But normally there's inflation, which creates this problem. The key concept you need to understand here is that inventory is an estimate. So when you look at your financial statements, that number that's there for inventory, that's not an exact value. That's a calculated number. And there's many different methods for calculating that number, and they all result in a different value. So since we have these different methods of valuation, LIFO and FIFO are not explaining what actually happened in your bank account. It's just how you're reporting it. So if you look at your bank account, what you'll see is cash goes out when you made the purchase and cash comes in when you made the sale. And some value is out there for how, many, how much inventory you have on your books. Well, LIFO and FIFO are determining that inventory value, but it's just how you report it. It's not the cash that's actually in your bank account. The biggest criticism of LIFO is that over long periods of time, LIFO skews the value of your inventory on your balance sheet. Imagine you're always selling your most recent purchases. Your older purchases can sit on your balance sheet for years. So if you're in business for 10 years, your inventory number may not reflect what you actually have in stock. Whereas under FIFO, your balance sheet number is more accurate because your inventory includes your most recent purchases. There are also benefits to LIFO. And one of the things I mentioned before is that LIFO often reduces your taxes. If prices are increasing over time, you can count the highest priced items as sold first, which reduces your reported profit. This reduces your taxes. Remember that what you report does not affect what actually happened to your cash. So under LIFO, nothing about your situation actually changes you just owe less taxes. But the real benefit of LIFO is that your income statement is more accurate. So your balance sheet may be less accurate, but your income statement is more accurate. So we've been spending all this time talking about inventory on your balance sheet, but inventory is not the number that most investors care about. What investors really care about is your gross margin ratio from your income statement. 
And that's why it's important that your income statement is as accurate as possible. Your gross margin ratio is profit divided by sales. In other words, if I invest in your company to grow sales, how much profit am I going to get? So let us return to the earlier example. Under LIFO, your profit was $2 on sales of $4. Under FIFO, your profit was $3 on sales of $4. LIFO has a gross margin ratio of 50%, whereas FIFO has a gross margin ratio of 75%. This tells you that for every $1 in sales, you're either getting 50 cents or 75 cents in profit. The difference is that one of those numbers is based off of prices from one year ago. This is important because it's telling me that my margins are shrinking. The argument for LIFO is that you want this information to reflect what is currently going on in the market, the most current prices, not prices from a year ago. That could seriously impact your investment decisions, and that is a huge argument in favor of LIFO. I hope this gave you a better understanding of the difference between LIFO and FIFO. Now I want to hear from you. Which one do you think is better? Go ahead and leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful, click on that subscribe button. The best way to supercharge a business is through accounting and corporate finance, and I release a new video every week, so come back and check out next week's video.